as a small business owner, it's hard getting the work done. I'm a celebrity, I'm an entrepreneur, I make videos. And the thing is, I make more money in a day than most people make in a year. And a lot of that is through hard work. My vision board is all laid out. If you follow some of these steps and you have a car like the TRD 4Runner and you take it off-road and you decompress. Hello? Hey. Hey, what? Who is this? Hey, it's Becky. Becky, what's up? The child support is late again. For which kid? What do you mean, which kid? Trayvon. I told you Trayvon's not my kid. I was nowhere near you at Chuck E. Cheese that week. So lose my number. Do me a favor. It's time to discuss this week's Tech Wednesday topic. The device in question is the Toto Washlet. What is a washlet? Well, it's a bidet. And a bidet can either be a standalone device, a hose, or something connected to your toilet that cleans your undercarriage. Now, it doesn't matter your gender, if you're male or female and you have genitalia, it will clean that. If you don't have genitalia, chances are you have a rectum and we've all experienced some pretty horrific defecations in our lives. And at least in America, we are obsessed with the concept of toilet paper. And toilet paper is a mixed bag. One, it's not all that sanitary. Two, it's pretty wasteful and it's pretty barbaric. The concept of using soap and water is a much better idea, or at the very least, water. And this is where a washlet or bidet comes in. In the case of Toto, it's a Japanese company that started in the early 1900s. They worked their way through faucets, bathroom fixtures, and they've made their name out of very expensive and in some cases very well-designed toilets. In 1980, they created the first washlet for their company, their own standalone washlet. And the washlet is designed as an add-on piece to your existing toilet. Now, of course, you can buy a toilet that has a washlet built in, but traditionally it's more expensive. So you can take virtually any toilet that you have and put one of these washlet systems on top of it. Now let's get into what the Toto washlet offers. Now the concept of bidets are nothing new. However, they've become a lot more advanced. You can go to a hardware store and just get a hose and spray yourself off for about $50. Then you can get into something a little bit more advanced that's roughly $150 to $200. But in the case of the Toto Washlet, the S550e model that I'm going to talk about retails for around $1,200. Now, of course, if you shop around, when there's not some type of run on toilet paper, you can probably get it for about $900 US. And that may sound like a lot of money, and believe me, it is. But once you use it, once you sit on this thing for the first time, you will wonder why you didn't spend that $900 on this instead of hundreds and hundreds of dollars on toilet paper or other crap that you don't particularly need. So, the S550e. The assembly is very simple. The only questionable part is, will it fit on your toilet? And they do offer measurements and schematics on how it's going to fit. So once you pop out your handy remote, there's two sides to this. One is your display screen, which shows your water temperature, your seat temperature, and your dryer temperature. So the water temperature is controllable here. You can go from cold to hot because it has an on-demand water heater on it. So you don't need to run a different supply line for hot water. The second part is seat temperature, which I discussed. The seat temperature is can go from almost room temperature to very hot and then your dryer temperature because this has an air dry function after you're done spraying yourself you don't just want to get off the toilet dripping all over the floor so if you position yourself right on the seat you create a seal with it the heated dry works extremely well and it's something that's great if you're in a cold room or a cold shower or it, it, it also helps to warm you up when you get out you just sit on the heated seat and blow dry yourself dry so there's a whole host of other menus which can change things like, do you want the seat to go up and down? Do you want it to beep? Do you want the night light on? 
uh, that's all configurable in here, including just a, clean, a cleaning mode. You can do that manually. On the other side are all your core functions. Starting at the top, you have the kind of on and off switch. So if you have your heated dry on, you can turn that off here at the top. You have another button here, which controls your up and down part of the bottom seat if you just want to stand to urinate. And then from the main controls, you have the rectal spray. And there's two modes. You touch it once, and it's kind of a more diffuse pattern. You touch it again, it's more of a direct, harder spray, and it will feel a little bit more aggressive. Now at the bottom, you have sliders that you can adjust. One that moves the sprayer forward and back, and the other control moves or changes the pressure. The, how, how hard the water is spraying against you. And these are all individually controlled. So depending on how you're sitting on the seat may change the angle of the spray. So you can kind of adjust it forward or back. Now the next setting is for the ladies. Now if you have female genitalia, it will move the wand farther forward to cleanse either the vaginal opening, the urethra, or the labia, depending on what type of problems you have. But there's two settings again. One is a more diffuse, softer spray. And the controls at the bottom will do the same thing. It will move it further, farther forward or farther back, depending on your anatomy or how you've placed yourself on the seat. The second setting is a little bit more aggressive, but again, you have two options on the spray pattern. Now, this is customizable, of course. Once you're choosing these, you can go to the fourth setting, which pulses the wand forward and back. It gives this oscillation effect to kind of move it back and forth to help clean it without you having to manually do that. And that's very helpful for when, you're def when you've had a very nasty defecation because it's that extra force that kind of does a sweeping motion to clean you up. The next one is going to be a pulse. So as we talked about the two modes here, you can go hit it once or hit it twice to get the second mode. This kind of just does a pulse into that second mode, which gives you kind of that, that harder spray to break certain things loose. If you have like toilet paper down there or any type of loose debris, it's very helpful. Again, you can, you can change all the settings however you want, and then there's even one user or two users. So if you want to program something for just the male of the house or the female or the nondescript sexual or the sexuality or a, an animal that you're putting on the toilet, you have that option here. So this is a full featured remote. It does require two batteries, but this is, it, you cannot control the toilet without this. So if you want to hide it, if you have guests over it, you can still use the toilet. The toilet seat will go up, but they won't be able to use any of the bidet functions. Now we talked enough about features. Let's talk about installation. Now, the washlet is designed to replace your existing toilet seat. And because toilets are not universally designed, not every seat is going to fit your brand of toilet. So you really need to check the measurements of your toilet on Toto's website before you commit to this. Now, in my case, I replaced all my toilets with the Toto Drake 2. It's a two-piece toilet, 1.6 gallons. It's a single flush design, and the last two I bought were made in America. And I've had a lot of miles on these things. Out of the six toilets, my oldest one is six years old, and all the part numbers are listed inside of the tank. I've never had a problem once. In fact, I've only clogged it once or twice, and it was because I did something completely stupid. But these things are very powerful, and of course, it depends on your home plumbing. Now, on Amazon, the cheapest I got it for was $200 shipped. And you know, you probably are gonna pay at most $300 for a white one. So the toilet is not a huge investment. Now, of course, the washlet, depending on which model you get, can be very costly. And what it comes with is just the base plate. You install the base plate, you take the old seat out, it just snaps in forward. Once you snap it in, it's in place. To remove it is equally as simple. There's a release button on the side and you just pull it forward. It comes with the coupler and the lines that you need. The only thing you'll probably want to replace is the cold water line, the line connecting to your spigot and to the toilet. Now, because it has an on-demand hot water heater, you only need that one line, which is great. The biggest negative here is you're going to need a power outlet by the toilet. You probably don't want to be running an extension cord unless you're desperate. And depending on where you live, it could get pricey. For me, it was only 200 bucks because my toilet was right by the basement where the power was. It was easy for an electrician to do. But if you're on a higher floor, if you're in an apartment, 
it's you just have to be aware, but you're definitely going to want that outlet. And that's the biggest deal breaker here. Now, because I've had two of these washlets, one I've had a ton, a ton of use on, uh, I would say borderline abuse and then filming it. I've never had one problem with them. I've never had one problem with the toilet and Toto's customer support is pretty damn good if you've ever needed to use it. Now, again, this is about what you value. I don't feel like a lot of these features are gimmicky. The core features work and the heated seat, the heated dry, and the different spray modes have paid for themselves. I've used 90% less toilet paper. I've never had to go in the bathtub to spray off. I've never had drama with this thing. And you know, I think just that alone has made the biggest difference. I see why these are so popular in other countries. I can't believe they haven't caught, in, caught on in America. To get a decent one is cheaper than a modern cell phone. And really it's something you use every day for your own personal comfort and hygiene. I know it's silly, but if you get a chance, definitely check one out if you can. At least just sit on the heated seat, and I, I would be shocked if you weren't sold. Well, that's it for this week's tech video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Is that better? Huh? Is that better? You like that? You're gonna die, and you know how you're gonna die? Death by bidet. I'm gonna wash you away like the piece of shit you are on the corner of my ass cheek.